Hey y'all. Well, this afternoon I'm going to make strawberry shortcake. Kind of the old fashioned way. It's not a sponge cake. It's more like a biscuit. And my mother made them for years. I can't ever remember her not making them. So, uh, we'll get started. They're real easy to make. This. Okay, I'm going to start out with two cups of flour, three teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and four tablespoons of sugar. Now you don't have to you don't have to sift this. I'm just doing it because my flour was a little bit uh, lumpy or had little hard bits in it, so let me get a spoon so I can rake that around. Yeah, Mama used to make this every year for Daddy's birthday. He had strawberry shortcake on his birthday from the time he was five years old until sometime during the you know World War II. There were a couple of years he didn't have it, and then after that. Uh, he had strawberry shortcake on his birthday, and uh, after my mother passed away, my sister and I made sure he got his strawberry shortcake on his birthday. And he was he was 89 when he passed away, so I guess there were about seven years of his life that he didn't have the strawberry shortcake. So, he had strawberry shortcake on his birthday for 82 years. And I remember the first time that I made strawberry shortcake after I got married. Uh, I served my husband a portion of strawberry shortcake. He said, I can't eat all that. He, he said, I, ha I ate a big supper. I said, well, that's how Mama always did it. I mean, she made the she made the biscuits really big, you know, and we were just little kids eating that, you know. So, but I just learned not to give it to him right after he ate dinner, and I started making the biscuits smaller. So she would take this recipe and make it into five portions. Well. Now, you know, that's how I changed it up. Then my sister, she started making it. And her husband said, well, you know, I think it's a little dry. Can't you just, you know, put the strawberries on there and let them soak in for a while or something? So she started doing that. And uh, it didn't make me any difference. It still tasted good. <laughs> All right, now we got that and a stick of butter, and I'm using vegan butter. You can use regular butter. You can use salted or unsalted, but I was going to share it with my daughter. <clears throat> Get my pastry cutter. And it's like I say, it's a lot like having biscuits. Comes together real quick and easy. You know, they're just good just to eat by themselves. Or if you don't like strawberries or if you're allergic to strawberries, you can use, you know, uh, you could use blackberries or blueberries. about getting a bowl and mixing these but I really like to use the mold cooking pots because the sides are uh, kind of straight up rather than kind of curved in I like that better and you want it to 
open, you can have the pea size, like when you're making pie crust, I told you that you're, you want it to be about the size of pea. Okay, I think that's good. Alright, let me pour in uh, two-thirds cup of milk. And I am using uh, a plant-based milk, using uh, oat milk today. You can use whole milk if you had to. I guess you could use buttermilk, you know. Mix that up. It's going to be on the dry side. dry that's actually kind of wet let me add just a touch of flour I think I got a little bit left in here I was reading up about how to get rid of ants and one one site I saw said to sprinkle cinnamon so I sprinkled some cinnamon along the edge there I've heard using vinegar and but that's just been a lifelong thing with this house is to have ants. Okay, let me get my pan here. I'm gonna put these in my my air fryer. I just drop them out on a pan, a greased pan, and they will spread out, and that's okay, because I'm just going to put them in a, a dish and pour those strawberries over the top, and let all those strawberry juices soak in rather than making individual shortcakes like my mother did. And I think I have a photo of um, strawberry shortcake that I made several years ago and it's I served it as an individual dessert. So I think I'll use that in my thumbnail so that you can see the difference between making an individual dessert and making it um, in, a, in a pan all mixed together. Okay, that one's going to be kind of small. But that's okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to put these in the air fryer and uh, get working on the strawberries. And I think that uh, air fryer cooks a little hotter than my oven does, so I'm just going to cook them for about... 20 minutes and see how that see how that does. Cook them at 400 for 20 to 25 minutes. Now my mother used frozen strawberries. She would get them in a uh, little small sized package. Uh, it was kind of like cardboard with a tin top on it and I think nowadays they come in a little plastic container but I'm using fresh strawberries let me 
rinse pretty dry. Just a little bit of water, a couple of tablespoons, just as a starter to get the juices flowing there. Oh, where's the knife I had? Oh, here it is. Of course, you can cut these strawberries any way you want. I think maybe you could even put them in a food processor if you wanted to, to make them kind of, instead of being in kind of little chunks or whatever, they'll be kind of mushed up, kind of crushed. It's just depending on how you like your, your food. And these. They smell pretty good. You never can tell about strawberries whether or not they're going to be flavorful or taste good. But, you know, by the time you get that sugar on there, you just won't know. Now, I'm going to pause here and I'll come back after I've gotten all the strawberries done. Okay, I've cut up the strawberries, and now I'm going to add a half a cup of sugar. Of course, you can always add more if you want lots of sugar, but a half a cup will be, that'll be quite a bit. And I'm going to set this container in the microwave just to keep uh, keep it away from the ants. Stir that around. And I'm gonna I'm not put them in the refrigerator. I'm gonna leave them out, like I say, in the microwave to help that juice come out of there. I think I'll just add a little pinch of salt. You know, salt always makes the liquid come out of things. Must be a humid day because my salt is clumping. Even in this salt people. Okay. And like I say, Mama used the frozen strawberries. I think they were 12 or 14 ounce. They were sweetened uh, strawberries. You know, they were cut up small. I seem to recall it. It seemed like they were crushed. And uh, that was always enough. Oh, this marvelous smell love strawberries. All right. Put these up and then I'll be back when the uh, uh, shortcakes are ready. I'll show you what they look like in the oven. I wonder. Nope. Yeah, I'm getting used to that air fryer. All right, here are the shortcakes. They look like biscuits, don't they? Okay, I'm put them on my Gen Air uh, vent so they can cool off, and then I'm going to whip the whipping cream.
Okay, now my mother always used uh, an eight ounce carton of whipping cream. I had a little bit left over in a smaller container. And let's see. That looks good. Okay, now I'm going to whip this up. I'm going to stop before it turns to butter. Okay, I've whipped it to nice st stiff peaks. Okay, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator to keep it cool. Thought I want to put whipped cream on hot shortcakes. I'll be back. Okay. Here's my daughter's. I got her some strawberries and shortcakes. Now I am going to cut these in half. Take the top. I got the ones that are on the back side. They're a little more brown. I gave my daughter the pretty ones. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to top that with some strawberries. tell myself get more strawberries but I never do you know having more doesn't mean it's necessarily better put just a little bit on each half there with all that juice Get out the whipped cream. And the whipped cream does not have any sugar in it. The strawberries are sweet enough. Okay. Then Mama would. She would top that with whipped cream. And she would be making this, putting this together while we were eating our supper. So there was always some anticip anticipation. You know, we'd be sitting at the table. She'd be whipping up the whipped cream. Oh, we knew something good was going to happen. Okay, now I'm just going to just spread that and kind of just seal it up. Because I have lots of whipped cream here, probably put too much, but... Oh, well, <laughs> I think I can suffer through it. Now I will put the, the rest of these strawberries and juice on top. Kind of spread it around. I mean, if you, if you wanted to use two packages of strawberries, uh, I don't. I wouldn't blame you. Okay. All right, all strawberries are on. these tops on here and there may not 
be exactly where they go, but close enough. Remember, I am going to, for my thumbnail on my video, I'm going to put a photograph of strawberry shortcake that I made as an individual serving that I did, I don't know, I, I took the photo several years ago. And uh, so you can see what it looks like just on its own. Okay, oh, I guess I have to scrape the bowl okay there it is now i'm going to put this in the uh, refrigerator and you know when my sister told me that she makes a, a head i thought oh well okay and of course she had made it a couple of hours before i even got there for dinner one night and she served it and it was it was just as delicious. So, y'all try making that. You can just have the shortcakes on their own. You can have strawberries, you can have blueberries, blackberries, whatever you want. Um, choice is yours. And I did not put sugar in the whipping cream. Mama never did, so I don't. So, y'all enjoy. Have a good evening, a good day and be kind to somebody. See you in the next video.